Welcome Brainers! Are you looking to migrate your OS and data from one storage drive to another, or maybe transfer everything from an old PC to a new one? If so, you've landed at the right spot. We'll show you the fastest and easiest way to clone a disk, including the operating system, apps, and data it contains. For this, we'll be using Isus Disk Copy, a fast and reliable disk cloning tool that ensures your data stays safe, so that after the migration, you can continue your work exactly where you left off. Without further ado, let's dive right in. As a first step, power off your PC and connect your new storage drive to your computer, without disturbing your existing storage disk. Once that is done, power on your PC. It should start up as usual from your existing storage disk. Please take a quick look at the files, folders, and applications on my PC before we begin. After the migration is complete, I'll show you that all of these remain unaffected. Now, right-click on Start, and select Disk Management. Your new storage disk or SSD needs to be initialized before it can be used, and for that reason, you are most likely to see this Initialize Disk prompt once you're in Disk Management. Please choose GPT and select OK. Take a close look at the size of the disks and you can figure out easily which is your old drive, and which is your new one. If your new disk is not listed here, it might not be properly connected to your computer. In that case, you may need to reconnect it and try again. Double check that your new drive is online, and then you can close this window. Next, we'll download and install the Isus Disk Copy software. You can find the download link in the video description. Once downloaded, double click the installer and follow the on screen instructions to complete the installation. Once it's installed, go ahead and launch the app. If you've already purchased a license, then please enter your activation code. The software will automatically detect your new drive and prompt you with this message. While I can just select yes and follow the on-screen instructions, I'd like to quickly walk you through the user interface first and then choose the appropriate options from there. If you're cloning a data disk without an operating system, you might want to choose disk mode. One great feature of this software is its step-by-step -step guide at the top, which shows the total number of steps involved, and highlights the current step you're on. This makes the entire process much simpler and more user-friendly. For my case, where I want to migrate both the OS and all the data from my old disk to the new one, so I'll choose system mode. As you can see at the top, this process involves two steps. Isus Disk Copy automatically detects the source disk and the operating system, so as a first step you just need to select the target disk and click next. We're almost ready to start the cloning process, but before that, you should confirm the disk layout. The Autofill the Disk option automatically expands your drives to match the size of the new disk. This option works well even when moving from a larger disk to a smaller one. The other option, Copy as Source replicates the exact sizes from your existing disk, leaving the remaining space as unallocated. You can later create a data partition from this unallocated space using Windows Disk Manager. For my case, I'll choose Autofill the Disk. If everything looks good and you're ready, go ahead and select Proceed. This is a warning that says the data on the target disk will be erased. Like me, many of you may have chosen a new SSD as the target, so we are good to continue. As we mentioned earlier, Isus Disk Copy is one of the fastest disk cloning tools, however the actual cloning time will depend on your disk speed and the size of your data, so please wait until the process completes. Once the cloning is complete, you'll see this important prompt that you should pay close attention. Since I'm migrating the OS to a new disk within the same PC, I would like to set the new disk as my primary boot disk. Accordingly, I'll choose the first option, automatically adjust the boot order to boot from the current target disk. In case you're cloning to an external hard drive to be transported to another PC, then you might need to select the second option, which says I will set the boot order myself. Please go ahead and select Reboot now. My system is running smoothly after completing the OS and data migration, and everything looks perfect. And as you can see, my apps, folders, and files are all intact, 
just like they were before. When we check Windows Disk Management, we can clearly see that the operating system, or C drive, is now on the new SSD. In fact, we can wipe the old drive completely and create data partitions on it as you like. Eases Partition Manager is an excellent tool that can help you delete all partitions and create new ones. It's a separate product, but it's available for free. I've provided a link to it in the video description below for your convenience. I hope you found this helpful, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.